Hello and welcome to our video on berberine, a powerful and versatile compound found in a number of natural sources. Berberine has been used for centuries in traditional medicine for its many health benefits, and today it is becoming increasingly popular as a natural supplement for a variety of conditions. In this video, we will explore the many benefits of berberine, including its ability to support healthy blood sugar levels, promote healthy cholesterol levels, and support cardiovascular health. We will also examine the scientific evidence behind these claims and look at some of the potential side effects and precautions to keep in mind when using berberine. Whether you are interested in exploring the benefits of natural supplements or simply want to learn more about this fascinating compound, this video is a great place to start. So sit back, relax, and join us as we explore the many benefits of berberine. What is berberine? Berberine is an alkaloid found in various plant parts, including the bark, leaves, twigs, rhizomes, roots, and stems of plants like barberry, Oregon grape, and tree turmeric. Historically, it has been used in Ayurvedic and traditional Chinese medicine as an antimicrobial, antiprotozole, and antidiarrheal agent. It has been shown to be effective against various bacterial strains such as cholera, giardia, shigella, and salmonella and may also have activity against staphylococcus, streptococcus, and clostridium. Its antiprotozole properties extend to Giardia lamblia, Trichomonas vaginalis, Leishmania donovani, and malaria. Interestingly, crude plant extracts have been found to be more potent than isolated berberine in these antiprotozole effects, suggesting that other compounds in these plants may contribute to or enhance its activity. Recent human studies have primarily focused on its effects on markers related to blood sugar control, blood lipids, liver function, and body measurements in individuals with metabolic disorders. What are berberine's main benefits? Some evidence from clinical trials suggests that berberine may lower blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes. The glucose lowering effect may be similar to some anti-diabetic medications. Additional studies investigating berberine's role in potentially improving cholesterol and liver fat content showed promise. Other studies also showed a decrease in body weight and fat mass. What are berberine's drawbacks? Berberine is generally considered safe when taken in normal doses, but more long-term studies on its safety are needed. Some people may experience gastrointestinal side effects such as diarrhea, constipation, flatulence, and stomach pain when supplementing with berberine. Its ability to lower blood sugar levels may also increase the risk of hypoglycemia when taken in high doses. Additionally, Berberine has a high potential for drug interactions which could lead to serious complications. Berberine Pharmacology Berberine's oral bioavailability is low because it is a substrate of P-glycoprotein, an efflux transporter that pumps it back into the intestines, and also because it increases the activity of P-glycoprotein, which decreases its own absorption. However, absorption can be greatly increased when taken with P-glycoprotein inhibitors such as silymarin found in milk thistle. Sodium caprate, an ester of capric acid, decanoic acid, found in milk fat at 2-3% and coconut oil at 10%, may enhance absorption by temporarily widening the spaces between intestinal cells and facilitating passive diffusion. It is theorized, but not yet proven, that taking berberine with food sources of capric acid could increase its absorption. For example, a 150 pounds human would need to consume about 5.5 grams of coconut oil assuming a 10% capric acid content, to achieve this effect. This would amount to approximately 1 and a quarter teaspoons of coconut oil. Berberine can be metabolized into four different metabolites, which have been found to have similar mechanisms of action to berberine, but with less potency. Berberine has been found to inhibit CYP3A4, a liver enzyme that metabolizes many drugs. This inhibitory effect may be clinically relevant as CYP3A4 is the same enzyme that is inhibited by St. John's wort. This means that berberine will most likely interact with a doctor-prescribed medication you may be taking. Caution is warranted. Talk to your doctor before taking it. How does berberine work? Berberine's effects are believed to primarily stem from its ability to activate the enzyme adenosine monophosphate activated protein kinase (AMPK) a key regulator of cellular energy balance that plays a role in various biological processes, including glucose, lipid, and protein metabolism. Berberine crosses the blood-brain barrier, and so has the potential to affect neurological processes. Specifically, 
Berberine has been shown to increase dopamine and serotonin levels in certain brain regions when taken orally. Research suggests that berberine may have a protective effect when taken before exposure to toxins, but it has limited evidence of potentiating toxicity when taken as therapy after exposure. Berberine's Effect on Triglycerides Ingestion of 1 gram of berberine for 4 weeks has been shown to reduce triglycerides by 16% in healthy obese individuals. A daily dose of 1,500 mg for 12 weeks also resulted in a 23% reduction in triglycerides in similar individuals. A placebo-controlled study in people with high cholesterol but low cardiovascular risk found statistically significant reductions in triglycerides during the second re-challenge, but not the first. Reductions in LDLC and increases in HDLC during both phases compared to placebo. A meta-analysis conducted on individuals with diabetes found that berberine supplementation resulted in significant reductions in triglycerides, total cholesterol, and LDLC and an increase in HDLC, the good cholesterol, in these diabetic patients. Berberine can inhibit the activity of a protein called AEBP1 in a dose-dependent way, which reduces the accumulation of foam cells by preventing the uptake of oxidized LDL by macrophages. Oxidized LDL is one of the bad actors responsible for atherosclerosis, the process of plaque formation on the walls of blood vessels. Additionally, it also decreases the secretion of adhesion factors ICAM-1 and VCAM-1 from immune cells. ICAM-1, intercellular adhesion molecule 1, and VCAM-1, vascular cell adhesion molecule 1, are adhesion molecules which are proteins expressed on the cell surface and play a critical role in the recruitment of immune cells to sites of inflammation. ICAM-1 and VCAM-1 are primarily expressed on endothelial cells, cells lining the blood vessels, and are involved in the adhesion of leukocytes, white blood cells, to the vascular endothelium. They also play a role in the development of atherosclerosis, an inflammatory disease of the arterial wall characterized by plaque accumulation. Berberine's Possible Effect on Fat Mass and Obesity Berberine appears to inhibit the activity of PPARY, a protein that promotes the formation of fat cells, in mature non-diabetic fat cells. This has been shown to be true in vivo. A quick detour to explain the term, in vivo. In vivo is a Latin phrase that means, in the living. In science, it is used to describe experiments or studies conducted in a living organism, such as a human or animal as opposed to in a test tube or other artificial environment. In vivo studies are considered to be more realistic and relevant to the human body, as they allow researchers to observe the effects of a treatment or intervention in a living system that closely mimics real-world conditions. Berberine's Effect on Blood Glucose Berberine is known to increase glucose uptake by fat cells, and it has been found to be as effective as the anti-diabetic drugs belonging to the thiazolidinedione drug class. One commonly prescribed drug in this class is pioglitazone, brand name Actos in the United States. A very promising finding in one study showed that berberine works well in combination with thiazolidinediones and metformin. Additionally, berberine has been found to be more effective at increasing glucose uptake than polysaccharides from Astragalus membranaceus. Astragalus membranaceus is a traditional Chinese herb that is considered to be one of the 50 fundamental herbs in Chinese medicine. It is used for various health issues and is believed to promote longevity. It has been found to have anti-inflammatory properties and to be particularly beneficial for the kidneys. Berberine may also have the ability to block the PTP1B enzyme and enhance glucose uptake into fat cells and muscle cells by supporting the effects of insulin. Clinical Studies with Berberine a study in people with newly diagnosed metabolic syndrome found that taking 300 mg of berberine three times a day, totaling 900 mg, for 12 weeks, resulted in a significant reduction in BMI, from an average of 31.5 to 27.4, a 13% decrease, with a significant decrease in waist circumference of 5.5%. The study did not measure changes in lean mass or fat mass. Studies comparing berberine to metformin and rosaglitazone have found that taking 1 gram of berberine daily is as effective at improving fasting blood sugar, insulin, HbA1c, and triglycerides as taking the standard doses of 1.5 grams of metformin or 4 milligrams of rosaglitazone. According to the clinical studies, berberine appears to have positive effects on blood sugar control in people with diabetes, 
and taking 500 to 1,500 mg of berberine daily in divided doses is similarly effective as standard diabetes medications and may even have additive benefits. How to take berberine? The recommended dosage for adults of berberine is one 500 mg capsule taken with a glass of water before meals, two to three times a day. Safety and toxicity of berberine. It's not recommended to use berberine or berberine-containing plants during pregnancy, and taking high doses of berberine supplements is also discouraged without medical advice. Berberine may also interact with certain medications. One meta-analysis of 14 trials that included a total of 1068 diabetic patients who took between 500 and 1,500 mg of berberine for an average of 12 weeks, with or without standard oral diabetic medications revealed that berberine appeared to be associated with more gastrointestinal, abdominal discomfort. Participants reported mixed effects of diarrhea and constipation. However, most of these GI symptoms were alleviated by reducing or dividing the dose into multiple servings per day. No significant drowsiness was observed in the participants. Generally, berberine is regarded to have low toxicity when taken by itself. However, it could become problematic when taken together with other prescription medications. One in vitro study found that berberine could have severe interactions with a certain class of antibiotics called macrolides. A common example of such an antibiotic is azithromycin. The study showed that a serious heart condition called long QT syndrome is possible when taken together. Berberine displaces bilirubin from albumin at a very fast rate which may explain why green stools have been recorded with berberine's normal yellow appearance. Dihydroberberine is better on the stomach and has better absorption, but its effect on blood glucose is not that different from berberine. I hope this deep dive into the amazing benefits of berberine was helpful. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment.